This is 90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org Worldwide, the morning show. I'm John Richards, and uh, I've been waiting since, the, I think, the first time I played a song from you to have you in studio, so I'm so excited. Black Belt Eagle Scout is here live on KXP. It's all yours.
KEXP, Black Belt Eagle Scout, live on the morning show. You may have heard that on the show a number of times. Soft Stud, the name of that track. I love the guitar in that, the guitars in that song. It's like two songs. You have the vocal, <laughs> you have the guitar part. Which, for you, is it? how did you write that song? Did, did one come before the other? Did you have the guitar, that last part, ready? Or... I was just jamming in my bedroom one time with my loop pedal, and yeah. then I just started playing this solo. I had the first part written, and then I was, like, playing around with the chords, and then I was, I was into the solo. So I was just keep 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 on playing and figuring out. That's why it's so long, because I was just looping it over and over again. Right. How do you tell when you're done? You could, you could have gotten 10 more minutes. We're good. Um, but how do you know? After the really loud part. Yeah, you're like, okay. <laughs> It seems like it's reached the <laughs> climax, and maybe it's over. Well, I'm learning about songwriting today. All right. <laughs> Black Belt Eagle Scout are live here on The Morning Show. We're going to tell you a little bit about, about the record and some shows coming up. But if you have another one from the album, we're ready. Black Belt Eagle Scout live here on The Morning Show. The new album is Mother of My Children, one of my favorites of the year so far. And the year's winding down, so I'm mm -hmm. guessing it'll be in that top 10 list. Great work on it, by the way. I really do love it. Thank you. Yeah, can you tell me... Well, first, before you talk about the record, I don't want to be rude. You should introduce everyone here Okay. playing yeah. music with you today. All right. Uh, my name's KP, and this is Gilly on guitar Hello. and vocals. Grace on bass and vocals. 
and Camus on the drums. When, uh, when did you start playing with, with these three? Um, within the past year, yeah. I've been playing with Grace, I guess, a little bit longer than that. But, yeah, her and I have sort of always been this duo. And then we've rotated cast members, but this has been pretty solid for a while. Well, you have some shows coming up, as you know, a lot of them. Uh, Saturday going to be at home in Portland. Mm-hmm. Portland is home. And uh, back up here on Halloween, yeah. I just found out, that's going to be a Halloween show at Highline Performing Arts Center. Do you dress up for that when you're the band? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet I know. That. I know. What, I mean, you can just play the band. You don't have to. It's up to everybody else. Uh, and then a tour, it looks like with Taco Cat. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're big fans of Taco Cat. Yeah. I'm sure you are as well. Mm-hmm. What do you like about them? What, like when you see them live? They're really fun. They're really nice people. I don't know. Yeah. They have great politics. Yeah. Well, it'll be so. a good show. <laughs> it's the right band to tour with. Um, and, I was reading a little bit about when you moved to Portland, you got involved in 07 with the uh, Rock Camp for Girls. Mm -hmm. Um, We've had the Seattle Rock Camp for Girls up here a number of times. We're big fans. Can you tell me a little bit about about them and your experience for people out there who may not know? Yeah, uh, Rock and Old Camp for Girls um, in Portland is a nonprofit and that teaches girls 8 to 17 how to play music, all different types. Um, You form a band and you write an original song and you play the song at the end of the week at a showcase. And throughout the week, you do workshops like self-defense, screen printing, um, some zine making, songwriting. And then there are a lot of them all over the world now, but Portland was the original one. And then um, probably shortly after, I think Rain City Rock Camp happened. And then Gilly and and, um, Grace have all volunteered. And that's how I met Gilly, was at Rock and Roll Camp for Girls. We just we we met when when I first went to camp. We were in drums class together when yeah. we were kids. <laughs> did you know then you wanted to be, to be in a band, or did that did that cement it for you, or did it inspire you to to want to be? I totally wanted to be in a yeah. band then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I think that's why I went. There are a lot of reasons why girls go to camp to be in a band, or just right. you know feel like you're empowered, or just for fun. But I was one that wanted to be in a band and want to play music. Well, you're the success story for people. That, and you should go, kids if, if, and parents out there. You should know about these camps. Rock Camp for Girls again. And you're down in Portland. I also read that, um, tell me if I'm wrong, because I think this is such a, I don't know, fun fact. But you taught yourself how to play music as well by watching VHS tapes of Nirvana and Hole. Mm-hmm. Okay, so walk me through that. Uh- <laughs> Do you hit pause and go back? Um, yeah, yeah, totally. Like yeah. I, uh, I just got a computer in my house when I was um, a teenager, yeah. and I was researching all about music. And because I lived in Washington, I, I grew up just up up the highway a little bit. Um, you sort of hear about the grunge scene. You hear about what's going on in, in New York State, and so I was like, "Who's this Nirvana?" you know, what's this band? And then I was also really into Hole. And so I joined like this Nirvana chat forum. (laughs) And then uh, there are a bunch of people trading like bootleg things in the chat forum. And I received a bunch of just uh, tapes. And yeah, I'd watch it on a little TV in my bedroom and figured out how like a a power chord, Yeah, what a power chord was, just because, you know, it's the same thing moving up the, moving up the fret. Yeah. So. Did you cover, were you able to play a song from Nirvana? Did you get to that, some of it? So it's funny because I was, after I discovered Nirvana, I was, I got into Hole and I yeah. was really into Hole. Yeah. I think it's because it's just like there's a woman playing in the band and I was like, this is really cool. And then I got into Riot Girl. So I'd play more Hole songs yeah. rather than Nirvana But you songs. got a Hole song like you, you. Yeah. But the first song I learned to play on guitar was Doll Parts by Hole. So That's a great song. What a good record, too. <laughs> um, tell me about this record, your record. Can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind it? Yeah, I can. Um, it was during a rough time in my life, as you know, a lot of people go through those times. Yep. Um, a lot of sadness, a lot of grief. People, like one, one of my um, mentors had passed away, had died. And then this relationship that I was in was kind of not in a good space. So I was, I was just feeling like really really sad. And I decided to take to my guitar to, to write songs to like get it out. You know, I think that for me, like when I play music and 
especially if I'm trying to get through something in my life, I, I, I will just sit down and I'll play guitar. So I, I started playing and then s certain things happened. And then I decided that I wanted to record this as an album so as I, that I could have as a documentation of this time in my life. And uh, I wasn't done with the album when I set the um, recording dates. So I was like, I'm just going to do this. Like, I'm going to try it out and do it. And then I went up to Anacortes, Washington. That's where I was born. And uh, there's the Anacortes Unknown recording studio up there. And I recorded it there in the wintertime with Nick Wilbur, um, who's one of the engineers out of there. So you weren't done with the album. Were you done when you stepped in there or did you finish it in the actual studio? I finished it in the studio. Yeah. A lot of the drum parts on the album um, were in the moment in the studio. Like the song we just played, Just Lie Down, that, that was the drum part that I just made up while I was recording. So some of them, I don't know if, if, if drum nerds out there, they, they, they hear the beat kind of changes. It's because I was not sure what I was playing <laughs> in the recording, but it ended up working out. So you're a little removed from the lyrics part and the words that you mm -hmm. wrote down. And are you able already to look at it as, as that journey through that time? Are, yeah. You're far yeah. enough away from it? I, I, I feel like I am. Um, yeah, I, I think so. I also, like, I'm really proud of the record. I put a lot of myself into it and I'm happy with how it came out. And I feel like it's one of those things where I want people to be able to listen to it who maybe are going through a hard time. Right. And to take that and to hear the songs, because I poured a lot of myself into it, and I think it's really beautiful. So I want people to to see that and to feel that and to to you know have it help them. Yeah, that was my follow up question, like to put those songs out there and have other people <laughs> take them for for what they're going through must yeah. must mean the world to you. Even if one person does that, yeah, that's totally. impact, right? Yeah. Well, it's a great record. I can't recommend it enough. Also, you're on Saddle Creek. I should I should ask about that. Did, I did, am. Was there? Can you tell me how that happened? They wrote me an email one day and they're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and I what have like, they heard? Hey. What have they heard? Um, so this record is actually a re-release because yeah. um, a, a local label called Good Cheer put it out. And so it was on Spotify and I think they heard it on Spotify and they're like, hey, this album's really great. What's going on with it? What are you doing? And um, the, the courtship, I call it, kind of happened from there. And we kept talking and staying in touch. And then finally it came to the point where like, we want to put this album out for you again to like a, a, a wider public. And so we want to help you. So I was like, this sounds really great. <laughs> yeah, we had heard the songs, la I think it was last year is when it, yeah. is that when you put in? Yeah. And to get extra life or, or I don't know, it's, I don't know if that's a luxury or um, a process I wish everyone could have. You get a little bit of putting it out on your own and then get the, get the help you might need to get it a, a label that really yeah. that really supports its artists. Yeah, totally. Saddle Creek is that label. So yeah. congratulations on that. Thank That's you. very cool. Uh, again, the show is coming up down in Portland on Saturday, October 27th, and a Halloween show we definitely recommend. And then a lot of touring with Taco Cat. Check out kxp.org for more info. It's Black Belt Eagle Scout. You have more songs from the record if you're ready. Yeah. All right. All right. The song is called I Don't Have You In My Life. <laughs>
Black Belt Eagle Scout live here on the morning show. Again, the new album is Mother of My Children. That's the new old album, really. It's been out. It's been out two different years. And uh, Saddle Creek has put out this version. And again, show's coming up Saturday, October 27th in Portland and on Halloween here in Seattle. Then a tour with Taco Cat. And the next song, uh, Indians Never Die, right? Yeah. Um, I saw a quote, and then you're standing right here, so I feel dumb <laughs> reading your quote. But I, it's such a powerful quote about this song. Um, I'm sure you know what it is. Yeah. Um, can you talk about the song and, and, and what you said about it? Yeah. Um, so I want to start off by saying that so all the, um, all the shows we normally play, um, I will say something about this song. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's hard for me to say something. Sometimes it's really easy. Um, but I try and say something pretty much all, all the time. Um, so this song, it's called Indians Never Die. And it's about um, the relationship that we have with Mother Earth and being aware of our surroundings, essentially. Like we are all living here together and um, we're all partaking in this planet. So we need to take care of it. And we need to um, always ensure that the way that we're living on this ground is is in a passionate way because in the United States, like this is stolen land. Um, Here in this area, this is where my ancestors are from. So the Seattle, like um, kind of Northwest, this area, this is where my dad's family originally, where we always have lived. So that in particular, like talking about that here, I feel like... um, you know, it's it's just one of those things where I want to make people aware mm-hmm. of, of um, you know, to be respectful and to to take care of, of, of where we live. So I've said a lot of things in different ways about about this song, um, but I've 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 been a little bit more harsh sometimes, I think. <laughs> but, and then but then sometimes I'm more inclusive. Um, it depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Just about. I can buy more tune. time. Yeah. I put you on the spot. You have to talk and <laughs> <laughs> you tune I'm ready. In. I think I'm All ready. right. Yeah. Okay.
That is such a beautiful song. I just love it. Thank you for playing that. Thank you. God, Thanks that sounded good. Us. Yeah, of course. Black Belt Eagle Scout live here on The Morning Show. It's been a pleasure. Good luck with the record, the touring, everything, you. everything else you're taking on <laughs> <laughs> as the year ends up. And uh, again, I recommend this record to everybody. Mother and My Children, the name of it. Uh, big thank you to the people who support KEXP and the people who work here and volunteer. And it keeps us independent. It keeps these in-studios happening. And I just appreciate all of your support. And uh, that's it for me. I'll be back tomorrow. This is listener-powered KEXP Seattle.